Good day. I'm Ed McMillan with Key Services in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And welcome to our tech series on Epson printers. Today we're discussing Epson's great receipt printer series, the T88. First thing we like to do when we receive our printers is to make sure that we properly attach Epson's power cable. Epson's gone to long lengths to make sure that they design a good power cord that A, locks in properly, and B, attaches simply. You'll notice that there is a rounded portion as well as a flat portion of the connector. The flat portion, you can always remember, goes toward the flat surface that the printer is sitting upon. So now let's attach the power cord and it snaps securely into place. One of the nice features is that it cannot come out by simply pulling the cord or by even pulling the connector. It uses a sleeve process where you gently pull the sleeve of the connector rearward and that unlocks the connector from the printer. Epson did this intentionally to make sure that jostling and moving around in the serving area would not disconnect the printer. Now we'll turn the printer around back into a serviceable position. Now let's talk about powering the printer on as well as testing it. The first thing we'll need to do of course is add paper to the printer. As we open the top all the way, you'll notice the position in which I'm holding the paper. You want the paper to roll up and out toward the front of the printer. Once the paper is securely in place, close the top securely. At that time, you can tear off the excess. Now let's move on to the testing procedures to make sure that the printer is mechanically sound. First, we'll do a test to ensure that the printer print head is functioning properly. And to perform this test, you hold down the feed button at the same time that you turn the printer on and maintain the feed button engagement for two seconds. You'll notice we have an initial testing that shows the communication mode of the printer and initial communication parameters. Now, by pressing the feed button the second time, we receive a test of the print head as well as the density of the print. If your printer has completed this test, the test print and the successful cut of the receipt paper, you do have a mechanically sound printer.